Hello everyone and welcome. Today we are making five emergency cards using the Spellbinders Quick and Easy Card Kit of the Month. So I have a piece of four and a quarter by five and a half inch navy cardstock, some pattern paper at two and a half by five and a quarter, another piece of pattern paper. I love that one. There's one and a half by five and a quarter. And then I have some of the ephemera and a two inch circle that I have punched out. Um, the goal of a video like this is really to give you additional layouts that you might be able to use using supplies that you have. I love these kits, um, but you don't have to have the kit to do something similar. So I have glued down my first piece of pattern paper to that navy cardstock, leaving an equal margin on three sides, and then I will butt this second piece right up against it, okay? So now I have an eighth of an inch border on all four sides of my panel, and I'm gonna add that to my card base. The kit comes with eight A2 white card bases, and then there's a whole bunch of like A2 colored cardstock panels, tons of ephemera and die cut pieces. I have an unboxing if you wanna see like everything that's in there, or if you want a quicker like way to kind of check it out, I will link to the kit below. Uh, because Spellbinders does an excellent job of just showing you in photo form, like a layout of all the die cuts and the fun pieces, you guys. There's these butterflies in this kit. We'll get there. They're so pretty. Uh, I am adding some foam squares to the back of this stack of books that I love because I'm an English teacher. Um, and I'm going to pop that up. There are foam squares in the kit, but they're like two millimeters, maybe even two and a half. They're pretty lofty. And I like a thinner foam. So those are the one millimeter Spellbinders ones. And then these are the butterflies. The back layer is the sticker. And then on top is this dimensional acetate foil butterfly. They're so good. Spellbinders came out with the Floral Friendship butterflies mm, a couple months ago. These are very similar. And then you've got this sort of rainbow of colors for them. I am turning all of my cards into emergency cards. And so this is from, I think it's kit six. It's the thank you kit. And it thank, says, thank you so very much. And I will add that to my card using some removable adhesive. So if I decide later I need this card for a different occasion, I can swap that out. I will link to all of the emergency kits that I've used in this video below and then to the playlist of all of the emergency card kits. It's a free download, completely free. So I have an A2 purple panel, and then this one, I cut one corner at one and an eighth of an inch, and then this one at five and a quarter inches, and it's four and a quarter inches wide. Really what I did was I found a diagonal pattern, I stuck it in my trimmer, and I followed along the diagonal line. So I, if you've got a diagonal print, give it a try, right? Just pick a line and follow it. And I'm gonna add that to my purple panel right up at the very top, and so I have this sort of really interesting shape to my pattern layer, and it left me space for a little scene at the bottom. I'm using ephemera from the kit that there's so many like ephemera die cut pieces in here, and you get two of each. You could make 30 cards with the amount of ephemera that's in there, uh, but you could certainly use like stamped images or die cut images, whatever you have. I'm gonna stick my two inch circle up in that sort of top right corner. And then here I'm building a scene of like cupcakes and there's these two mugs that face kind of opposite directions. So we're gonna nestle them together. Like maybe this, this couple is out to tea or maybe a couple of friends. And I just, they look cozy. I don't know, I really, I really like this one. There are a bazillion of the tiny little butterflies on the right. So we'll add those. And I wanted a little dimension. So there's a bunch of chipboard stickers and this says wonderful. They are stickers, but I add wet glue. Like I have trust issues. So I just wanna make sure it's not gonna go anywhere. Um, and then I'm gonna add my butterflies around uh, just to kind of fill in the scene. Um, and that creates a pretty quick and easy card for us. Again, I would love to know when you watch these videos, if you use these layouts, um, do you do you get the kit or do you use what you have? What do you have that sort of fits with this? Do you use a kit from a different company? Tell me about it. Like I'm really into kits right now. This one says ever grateful. It is also from that thank you kit and it will finish up our card beautifully, right? Quick, easy, but 
kind of striking. I like this layout. I think I'm going to be using that one some more because I have a bunch of diagonal prints. Okay, card number three, four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I have a piece that is four and a quarter inches square. Technically, you could cut that a little shorter, but this was easier. This strip is three and an eighth by two and a half. And then I have two more strips that are four and a quarter by one quarter inch. All right. And again, we're going to create a really quick and easy layout. I'm going to add this to my A2 panel um, with some wet glue. There is some double-sided adhesive in the kit, like, uh, like a roll of it, but this is faster. So <laughs> I just use wet glue. And then I'm going to center this square pattern paper right in the middle. And to really help it stand out, I'm going to use my quarter inch strips of cardstock. You could instead create a matte layer that is four and a quarter by four and three quarter, but I hoard the cardstock <laughs> that comes in these kits because I'm never sure how many cards I'm going to make. And anyway, I, I use strips here. It also creates just another layer of dimension that I like. I'm overlapping the strips on top of that pattern paper. So that's where I was saying you could cut that a little shorter if you wanted to. And then this tiny piece, I am going to flag on either end. Um, I am not great at a freehand flag. So I'm actually lining that up on my grid mat just to make sure I'm finding the center point. And I'm going to make a tiny little pencil dot where I want to cut. So I am going to cut using my scissors through the middle to the pencil line. And then from each corner to that little slit I cut at first. And that will create this sort of banner end flag. I thought here about using some of the chipboard stickers. There are some flags and I would have just like had to cut one in half and maybe separated them because they weren't quite long enough. But you certainly could do that too and it would add some extra dimension. I have glued this flat to my card and then I'm going to pop up my circle for my sentiment on some foam. These again, these are the one millimeter foam from Spellbinders. They also have two millimeter. So if you're looking for the thin ones, just keep that in mind. I'll link them below. And then I love these little sort of party rosettes. They're, I don't know. It's a shape I really like. These first two are connected and I'll stick those kind of at the top. And then this third one, I'm going to stagger a little bit. I will add a birthday sentiment. This is from the kit that came out June 1st and I love it so much. This is just sort of an elegant scripty birthday um, and it says happy birthday. And it fits, I think, really nicely with the pieces we've chosen here. I'll add it with removable adhesive and that will finish up our card. Then we're gonna do some fancy business here. This is four and a quarter by five and a half and I will just add that to our card base using my wet glue. On the right there, you can see a frame. There are some chipboard frames and each of the frames has some florals or like this one is like a flower and a bird. They're cute. I love that there's something already on there when they're just plain frames. I struggle to decorate them. I'm not great at arranging things, just things. Uh, so I'm gonna create a little focal point for our emergency sentiment. So here I'm adding my circle and I'm using the frame to kind of make sure I've got that lined up where I want. And then I'm going to measure this for you. So if you don't have the kit, I still want you to be able to use this layout and you could cut a frame by hand or you could create a frame if you have some nesting dies. So this is three and a quarter by two and three quarters of an inch. You can do this by hand. Okay. And I like the dimension that's here. So if I was going to do this by hand, I might even like stack up some die cuts or use some foam tape to prop that up. And I'm going to add that straight to my card base. Then I have, there are stamp chipboard pieces in here. I don't know what it is. I love a stamp. So I'm going to add one of those to the top corner. Again, it's more of that dimension. And then two of these butterflies. There are a squillion butterflies in this kit. I like butterflies. I'm here for it. So I'm going to glue those flat down and then I will reach for another emergency sentiment. Again, this is from kit number nine. Um, and then <laughs> this is meant as a joke because there's an inside that goes with it, but it's the font is really pretty. It says, my thoughts and prayers are with you during this difficult time. And you certainly don't have to use it with the giant crazy birthday cake that is the difficult time joke that goes on the inside. So now I have a sympathy card ready to go. 
Here on this card, I have four and a quarter by five and a half, and I've cut this just slightly smaller at four by five and a quarter. This is my favorite paper in the entire kit. It's got some gold foil accents. I have three pieces that are a quarter inch wide. I actually am only gonna use two of them, but I wasn't sure. This is so easy. I am adding my panel to my card base, and then I'm gonna center my patterned paper on top of that. So I will have an eighth of an inch border all the way around that piece. I don't know what it is. This feels like a nighttime butterfly scene. It just feels magical to me. To dress this up, I almost thought about leaving it, <laughs> like just the pattern paper, but to dress it up, I'm gonna add some strips because you know I'm obsessed with strips right now. Uh, and I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'm not, it looks like I'm measuring, but I'm not, okay? So I'm gonna cut this first one because I wanna use the rest of that piece on my card um, and I'm gonna layer three strips and just try to leave, I don't know, an equal gap in between them. It's maybe another quarter inch. If you wanted to measure it, you could cut an extra strip and sort of hold um, a non-glued strip in between them to make sure that they're super even. That's a trick I use a lot. Uh, and so here's my third one and I'm again, I'm gonna have that leftover strip. That's okay, I'll put it on something. I'm not worried about it. And then I'll use my scissors. I like my longer scissors for this. It's just easier to kind of get in there um, to clip everything off. And that is like the bulk of the layout. I'm gonna add our two inch circle right up in the corner there. You could pop that up on some foam. I decided to glue it flat down. I'm not real worried about it. And then I have this tree and it's huge and I love it. I'm gonna glue that to the card and then there's this little worm. That worm. <laughs> he is like a blue striped little guy and he's got these gold foil accents on his stripes. And I'm gonna put those straight down on my card base. Again, this magical nighttime scene, I don't know. Let me know if you like that card. I'm a little obsessed. And then this is also from kit number nine, the birthday kit. Um, and it says, today you are special. If you wanna turn it into a joke, the inside says tomorrow you're not. So <laughs> that will finish up this card as well. So I have made five quick and easy cards using this kit. I will link to this kit and all of the Spellbinders kits for the month. You guys check them out. There's this like incredible whale and this like giant bottle scene thing. They're so cool. They are so, so cool this month. There's an octopus that dances. Thank you for joining me and spending this time with me, and I will see you next time.